Welcome to the California Arts Council's 2023 Administering Organization Folk and Traditional Arts Overview Presentation. The program specialist for the FTA program is Leslie Giovanini, pronouns she, her. We would like to begin by carrying forward the California Arts Council practice of recognizing the original people and caretakers of these sacred lands within and throughout the region we now refer to as Sacramento, the location of the CAC offices and the space from which we are offering you this workshop today. The California Arts Council stands in solidarity with all of California's indigenous people. We acknowledge that our work takes place on the now occupied traditional lands of the Miwok, Maidu, and Nisanon people, who are the past, present, and future stewards of this place. We make this first step in our journey to develop relationships and cultural competencies to truly support Native sovereignty. To use closed captions, click the closed caption button within your Zoom or viewing platform and select show subtitle. We have a lot to cover in our time together. So here's a look at what we'll be presenting today. We'll go over the CAC website and grant page, general eligibility for CAC programs, introduction to grant programs, application elements and how to apply, and additional applicant resources. You can find information about all of our programs on our website, arts.ca.gov, by clicking on the Grants tab. Funding opportunities are listed under the Grant Programs and Applications section. Once you reach the Grant Programs and Applications page, individual programs can be viewed. Each program has a landing page that contains a brief description of the program, contact information, links to download the guidelines, and other information. Below lists the arts program specialist or grant program manager's name, and you can also find a link to email them directly. We also have a grant resources page where you can find additional information around our fiscal sponsorship policy, in-kind matching information, online application login process, online application system registration information, both a PDF and a video covering the process, and our ranking guide. Each grant category has program-specific eligibility and project requirements, so make sure to review the guidelines carefully. But there are some general eligibility criteria to keep in mind. Applicants must be nonprofit organizations, units of municipal or county government, or eligible organizations with a California-based nonprofit fiscal sponsor. Units of government also include California native or indigenous tribal governments. All activities and organizations, including fiscal sponsors, must be based in California. All applicant organizations, including fiscal sponsors, must be able to demonstrate a two-year history of arts programming and or services in California. This group of grant programs are intended for organizational applicants. For the program-specific information, the Folk and Traditional Arts, or FTA, grant program intends to redirect resources at the local level by proposing to fund one or more administering organizations. The maximum request amount is $1 million per year for a two-year cycle. This grant does not require matching funds, and the program specialist is Leslie Giovanini. The panel's rankings are based on the review criteria in the guidelines. All of our programs include equity and accessibility review criteria. The other review criteria are all program specific. There is language defining each criterion in the guidelines, as well as the applications and requirements that the panelists will use to assess each criterion. The first one is centering equity for an inclusive arts landscape. In this section, Organizations will demonstrate understanding, capacity, and ongoing commitment to building equity across the arts through inclusive policies, practices, projects, partnerships, and leadership. Organizations will also demonstrate how they serve and prioritize communities with the highest levels of need as indicated by the California Healthy Places Index, or HPI. 
What has inspired your organization to incorporate or evolve policies or programming that uses the arts as a tool to transform and or express culture? Describe the approaches your organization has taken or will take to center, uplift, and involve historically underserved communities that fall within the lowest quartile of the HPI in your region. The term underserved communities refers to populations disproportionately impacted by systemic exclusion in policy settings or historical decision-making processes. Neighborhood by neighborhood, the HPI maps data on social conditions that drive health, like education, job opportunities, clean air, and water. This data is used by community leaders, policymakers, academics, and other stakeholders to compare the health and well being of communities, identify health inequities, and quantify the factors that shape health. How does your organization represent and create equitable opportunities for historically excluded artists, cultural practitioners, or arts and cultural practices? Describe the actions you have taken to build trust and ongoing relationships with the identified communities, artists, and cultural practitioners. Address how you, A, plan to evaluate success for the proposal and what success will look like, and B, will listen and respond to the diverse needs of the communities and artists or cultural practitioners through the project. Our next criterion is management and leadership demonstrates effective management. Complete a two-year budget snapshot table. Provide revenue and expense amounts. Address any significant changes in line items from one year to the next and explain anticipated surpluses or deficits. Provide the executive summary for your organization's current strategic plan. If a current strategic plan is not in place, Use up to two pages to describe any existing policies and or procedures and timeline for developing a strategic plan. Provide a brief biography for each key individual involved in administrative, artistic, or programmatic leadership positions within your organization. Include name, title, relevant experience, and role. Provide a current list of board of directors, commissioners, committee, or other appropriate members of your governing body. Upload two signed letters of support from key stakeholders, partners, or collaborators. Letters should substantiate the quality of the organization, its programs and services, and affirm the organization's impact on its constituents. Our next criterion is program design and implementation. The project budget is detailed, includes all expenses relevant to the stated project activities, and includes rates of pay that appropriately compensate the labor of all individuals working on the project. Describe how your proposed re-granting technical assistance or capacity building program will advance traditional art forms and traditional artists. Detail how programs and or services will provide engagement and access throughout the state. Complete a detailed project budget, including all expenses relevant to the stated project activities and include rates of pay that appropriately compensate the labor of all individuals working on the project. Provide details for each line item to be funded by this grant. Our next criterion is community engagement and social impact indicates clear objectives of your proposal that will support folk and traditional art programming that includes a realistic timeline of activities that support the realization of those objectives, demonstrates the ways in which the project will foster and promote traditional arts within the communities they are a part of. The proposal centers on funding folk and traditional arts to support these strongly rooted communities. Specify clear objectives that address the folk and traditional arts program goals and include a realistic timeline of activities that support the realization of those objectives. Describe your organization's grant management experience. Provide specific information regarding your online grants management system and its capacity to manage technical assistance, statewide capacity building, application submissions, review, processes, financial tracking, grant payments, and or grant servicing. 
Describe your organization's ability to develop and administer a fair and equitable regranting process to identify individual artists and arts service organizations to receive support or to create or manage a competitive grant application and adjudication process. Describe your organization's ability to design and implement a program with statewide outreach and marketing that includes rural communities, regions outside of major metropolitan areas, and diverse communities. Describe your organization's ability to provide in-person or virtual technical assistance to support artists and organizations. Describe your organization's plan to evaluate the proposed program and provide a detailed final report to the CAC. And our last criterion is accessibility and accommodations demonstrates that its programs, services, information, and facilities where funded activities are to take place, including online spaces, will be accessible for individuals with disabilities, including but not limited to individuals who are deaf, hard of hearing, deaf blind, have difficulty speaking, have a physical disability, visual disability, developmental disability, learning disability, mental illness, or chronic illness. Describe your organization's approach, including allocation of financial resources, to ensuring the accessibility of programs and services and inclusion of people with disabilities. Describe both physical and communication accessibility, including in-person and online activities. Describe how your organization offers people with disabilities a way to request an accommodation to access programs and services. Consider organizational personnel and any partnering organizations, as well as the participants and beneficiaries of arts programming and services, including creatives with disabilities and potential audience members in your response. Identify the primary individual who will be responsible for managing accessibility for your organization. This may be a program manager, accessibility coordinator, or other staff member of the applicant organization. Include their name, title, phone number, and email address in the fields provided. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to register your organization through our grants management system to apply, please view the 2023 Grant Applicant Website and Registration Overview video that can be found on our Grant Resources page. All applicants will complete a budget snapshot table listing a minimum of two years of revenue and expense totals. The budget snapshot should reflect the past two fiscal years and the most recent should match this field in your application. The project budget is required for all project-based grants. For artistic work samples, you will want to make sure that they are recent and relevant to your project proposal, clearly feature and or identify lead artists, choose the medium that best fits your proposed project outcomes, and you're limited to three examples and each type of work sample has instructions on length. Additional work samples or samples that exceed the requested length will not be considered by panelists. And finally, clearly label work and give the panelists any relevant contextual or medium information in the work samples notes field. Remember, work samples will not receive higher or lower ranks based on their production quality. For example, a video taken on your phone is great. It does not have to be overly produced. We have additional applicant resources. There's the CAC grant resources webpage. Prior applicant webinars and training recordings can be found on this page. We have grant applicant FAQs. CAC staff regularly updates the FAQ page to better assist our applicants, so please review the FAQ page for immediate assistance when applying. We also have virtual office hours. For further questions you may have, you're welcome to attend any of the following virtual office hours via Zoom. The next one for FTA is Thursday, June 1st from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So mark your calendars. The deadline for Folk and Traditional Arts is June 6th at 11.59 p.m. No exceptions will be made. All application components must be uploaded and completed before then. 
We cannot accept any additional materials or information past the application deadline, so please plan ahead. We highly encourage you to review our extensive FAQ page for additional information. If you have a specific question that's not covered in the FAQs, feel free to contact Leslie. We strive to respond to all inquiries. However, due to the high volume, we must respond in the order they are received. We highly encourage you to review all the resources on our site and reach out with questions early in the application period. We will do our best to assist, but cannot guarantee assistance close to the application deadline. This concludes today's CSE presentation. Thank you for the work each of you are doing improving the lives of Californians and your communities through the arts. We look forward to continuing with you on this journey and seeing your application submissions. Thank you and be well.